G'day viewers and thanks for watching. Today's video is about a MQTT logger for Windows that I have written. I have used some commercial libraries uh, when writing this application so this application will not be released as open source but it will be released as free to use. A link to the application installer will be in the description of this video. When the application first starts up after install, you will need to enter your MQTT broker information. Here we have host, username, password and port number. In my case, I do not use a username and password, so I just need to enter the IP address and click connect. Once the application connects to the broker, it will register to receive all messages. Any messages on the broker that have retain flag equals true should be downloaded immediately. In the logs section of the menu, we have three buttons to deal with the current records. Clear will delete all records out of the application. Hide current will hide all the current records and show all will return any records that have been hidden. You can collapse and show the menu by double clicking the home tab. The first column is the received column. This is the date and time the application received the packet. It is not the date and time the broker received the packet. If the broker has a packet with retained value equals true, that is 12 hours old, then the receive column will say now, not 12 hours ago. The next column is the topic column, which is the full MQTT topic from the broker. Columns T1 through T9 are the MQTT topic split by the forward slash. The reason we split the topic up into all of its elements is to allow us to take full advantage of the grid's sorting, grouping, filtering and searching capabilities. The last column is the MQTT payload. You can sort the data by any column by clicking the column header. The first click will sort the data in ascending order the second click will sort the data in descending order. When you highlight a column, it will show a filter icon next to the column name. Clicking this icon will give you a unique list of all values in that column. Selecting one of those values will filter everything by that value. A filter control panel will be added to the table's footer. The checkbox next to the name enables you to en enable or disable the current filter. On the right hand side of the filter control panel you can bring up the edit filter panel which allows you to, to finally edit and add extra filter options or you can remove the filter altogether. If you right click a column header it will bring up a filtering and search menu. If we select show group panel, it will add the group panel to the table header. The group panel allows you to group the data by any particular column or columns. So if we grab T1 and drag it up into the group panel, it then groups all the data by that column. You can add multiple columns to the group header and it groups them by the order that you add the columns. So if we add T2, we then get each of that element grouped. To remove the grouping, you can either drag the column back to the table or you can right click and go clear grouping. If we right click the column header again and select show search panel, it puts a search panel up into the 
table header and if you type something into this search panel it will search across all columns so if we type LWT it will list everywhere that LWT appears to clear the search you can either click X or simply close uh, the search panel and to hide the group panel you simply right click the column menu and go hide group panel well that's pretty much it uh, for this video um, if you find it interesting please like and subscribe if you have any questions or comments please add them to the comments below thanks again for watching that's all for now